Um, it's bittersweet in so many ways. Uh, as Liam just said, there's, there's a lifetime of memories there and, and like life itself, it's, some of it was fantastic and some of it wasn't so good. Um, yeah, we, we were fortunate enough to, to win the cup. Uh, I was lucky enough to win as a player, as a manager. Liam has won it so many times as, as a player and, and you remember those days. And, and sometimes you remember, you remember the ones where you didn't win more often than you do the ones you win. And you think of what might have been and you think of the circumstances, particularly of 97, which was overshadowed by the, by the death of Tony O'Doyle's brother, which was basically was, was an awful experience for, for everybody and just overshadowed the whole, the whole final. But the, the, there's, there's so many, when we had, we, when we won the, the treble in 89, we had a, we partied like nobody's ever partied uh, uh, into the long hours of, of uh, early hours of the morning and... and uh, Wick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, but it's bittersweet. Uh, the, the, there's a lot of, there's a lot, I, there are many places that cup has been down through the years. Uh, uh, just beside where I live, there was, there was a young fellow who passed away. He was, uh, I think he was 12 years of age. And that cop, cop spent the night in the room with his coffin. And, and uh, I know that's not the story you, you probably want to hear, hear about this, but that, that's, that's the kind of thing that you have with, with when you reflect on the experiences. And when you look at the cup and you think of the players we played with, the players I was lucky enough to manage, the great times, all the stuff that went on behind the scenes that nobody ever knows about. And the joy when I won it as a manager in 95, when the final whistle went, there's nobody can buy you that kind of feeling. Nobody can buy that kind of feeling when you win it as a manager. Uh, and to win it at 89 when you were a player, um, particularly when it was a treble and everything that, that was going on at the time with Jim McLaughlin, with myself, Liam had just broken through and the expectation was there. So there's so, when you look at that trophy, there are so many instances where you look back and it, it brings back and recalls fantastic moments. Uh, but like life itself, it brings back some other stuff that you'd rather not think about. And the big ball from the back, Coil. Watch a high advance, Coyle got in there and won it in the air. A missed kick by Carey and Healy was going to make no mistake from that range. A smashing finish, uh, as I was saying earlier, the longer ball with people backing up from midfield and from the back. Uh, Liam Coyle caused an also. And the cup is, is, is the one thing, even going back, Felix will, will tell you, back to the 60s when Derry won the cup in the early league, you know, it was, they probably get more enjoyment won in the cup than they did won in the league. You know, that's the way this town or city is. So, you know, we lost the league in 95 in the last day of the season. So we were under pressure and they go on to the cup final. And when we won it, it was, a, as Felix said, it was the best day I've ever had playing football because the, the disappointment we had down in Athlone a week before. And then, as Felix said, two years later, we'd won the league. And then we were going to end the final, you know, to try and do the double again. And, to circumstances out of our control, but f for everybody in this, uh, this city here, you know, going down to Dublin in a couple of weeks' time for the final, it's, it's, it's Felix mentioned a couple of weeks ago, things like this don't happen too often, they tell you, you know, so when they do come around, you have to enjoy them. It's funny, the comparison there with 95, you know, the current team, obviously, um, we're, we're speaking the, the Tuesday after Shamrock Rovers have won the league, Derry City will be disappointed naturally. As a manager, as a player, Felix, like, is, is the focus immediately turned into the, the bigger prize and, and can wipe away the memories of just, there are probably Hork players there this morning who, are, who have got their hopes up for the league, but ultimately the FEI Cup, it could, that, that could bring back so much, so much more. Well, I think there's a couple of things about that. Even if you look at some of the, the expressions on the players' face coming off at Sligo last night, you realise the league is gone. There's always that as a player, you always think, yeah, if we get a result tonight, we beat Rovers, you never know what might happen on the last day, which happened to us at Athlone. 
you just never know what, what could happen. So there's always, there's always a wee thing in the back of your head, so if we get a result. Um, so they've got that disappointment to, to deal with. They know they've got the cup final. I think it's a good thing that they're playing Shamrock Rovers this week, which is a big, it's going to be a big game. No, no disrespect to one or two others. You could be, you could be going away to, to one of the lesser teams and it's a non-event where you're going to Rovers, it's going to be a big crowd, the main rivals, so you want to turn up and everybody will be up for the match, which, which I think is good to have on the back of what's happened over the last two, two or three days. And then once, once you get that out of the way, I think there will be then the build-up will slowly intensify and the closer you get to it, it's the wee men start to get at you. Uh, you, you know, and it, I mean, it's very evident. I think that the closer the people get to the, the finishing line in, in the league, the nerves do come into it. It's one of those, and, and it's certainly the case as you approach the cup final. There's one or two experienced lads who've been there and done it with, with the Derry team, but there are other lads. It, it'll be a big occasion for them. And, and on the day, cup finals are notoriously they're close. It's nervy. And, and it's, it's because of, of, of the nerves, and it's completely different from what you've been used to playing week in, week out. It's all oh, the build up is different, the media is different, and, and, and all that kind of thing. Like, I remember, I remember going to watch Felix team eight, in 88. I was, I was a supporter, I was down at the thing, way. and the disappointment that day was unbelievable. Like, you know, everybody coming back, uh, don't talk, beat them 1 0 that day. And you could, the disappointment that day was un, unreal, and you could feel it amongst all the, uh, the supporters because the whole town wants to have a day out and enjoy it, and and then you want it to fall in you and you see what it means to everybody. You know, even even as a player, I think Felix is right. As a player, the league is your your main aim. You want to do that. The, the cup, you know, is, is for supporters, and the relief you get from one and after it, just for supporters is. It's really evident, you know what I mean? Because yourself, you just say to yourself, I'm glad that's over now. It's because there's nothing enjoyable about playing in the final, like, you know, because he, he, um, if you lose, you know, it's the worst day you're going to have. And then if you, if you won, then it's just it's just relief. And for everybody, you know, they have they been through uh, a lean time over the last 10 years, you know, compared to our day where we were challenging for leagues, cups nearly every, every other year. They've only won one cup in the last ten years, so for to get the final this year, you know, the pressure's going to be on them as well. Well, to be part of, of of the team, I mean, I was coming towards the end of my career when we won the league in '89. I mean, I was 34 years of age and riddled with injury, uh, and uh, to win the treble uh, at '89 was 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 an incredible. But as Liam said, I was glad when it was over because the pressure was so intense at that particular time. Uh, and when, when what happened to us, I think more about what happened to us at Athlone than I do any other game. Uh, very rarely think about 89. Only when we're doing things like this. Uh, but what happened at Athlone was just, was just hard to take. And we should have won the league, uh, and it was just one of those days. And you and you think you think probably more about that than you you do anything else. And, and going back to to '97, I mean, to be honest, in '97, I mean, I've said this privately before, I haven't, I haven't really said it that publicly, but it didn't matter to me about winning. It didn't matter to me about winning. We'd won the league, which was my personally was my holy grail. I'd spent a couple of hours the night before the final with Tony O'Dowd's mother and father. And that puts things into perspective. And I, mean, I think it's one or two players have said, you know, we'd, <coughs> we didn't go to play the final. We went, we went to a funeral and we had to play the final. So, so it's, it's overshadowed. I think Liam was, talk, was, was saying earlier, he doesn't remember anything about 97. It was just a weird, 97 was a really weird, Awful experience in, in many ways, <clears throat> uh, but 
then as, as, as you get a wee bit older, you say, well, I wish, wish maybe I had felt more about winning it because there were so many people down there who, who wanted to go for the cup final. But it, but it was, but cup finals are, are amazing experiences <coughs> at this level of the game. Well, it does, it brings back memories, you know, it brings, it brings people back. And you, you can see it in the brandy well now, like, you know, you can see parents now come bring their kids to the matches, but just to go and watch me and Felix when they were kids, you know, they're bringing their, they, they haven't had this opportunity. They, they were, as I, as I said, they, they probably were going every two or three years when they were growing up, or now at the minute they're taking their, their children there that have never been to a final. And you know, and, and people look back on it because I know there's a lot of a lot of people that um, went to finals with their fathers, who have passed away and stuff like that as well too. I've, I've been chatting there recently, and they're taking their kids now, and, and, and it makes them, it makes them feel as if they're still part of it. Like you know what I mean? So the cup is the, the cup is special. It is. There's no doubt about it. Like you, you can see it last year when Pat's won it. You know how. How much it meant to Pats last year? They, they they go and do it, you know, for a club that have hardly won any cup finals, you know, and they've won leagues down the years, but the cup last year, and it'll be the same for for Derry or Shells this year because, like you look you look at where Shells have come from, where they were and where they went they and where they're coming back again now, and Derry's in the same boat. So two massive clubs, and hopefully, it's a start of song for for both of them. But there's a lot of younger, there's a lot of younger fans going to the brand yes, at the minute, you know, a lot of, which is great to see. A lot of the younger people. Is that you something know. unusual that you've noticed, <coughs> as opposed to? Previous well, I think, years? You, I, I think it, it, it's gone on, it goes on waves. You know, there's a lull of kids, but there does seem to be younger. But a lot of them, a lot of the younger ones, it'll be, it'll be as Liam said, you know, it'll be their first final. I'll be looking forward to it. Uh, uh, I mean, I remember my father took me to the Irish Cup final and watched Liam's father play in 1964. And, and I've talked so many times about that game. It's the first time I've went to Belfast to see a big final. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of kids doing that in a couple of weeks' time as well. My grandson, is, I, I took him to the quarter final against Shemit Rovers, took him to the semi final, and he's making all kinds of suggestions about <laughs> going to the final now, you know, and he's nine. But there, are, there are. It's great to see some. There's, there, there is a younger group there coming through, and and that's where success will keep them, because the minute it's the same with every club, if you don't get that success on, on what it is, it they tend to start drifting away, you know. Uh, but it, but it is good to see that there are so many younger guys going. And finally, advice to, to Rory before the big day. Oh, I wouldn't know. You need to ask Felix. <laughs> we just used, we just used to turn up and players will just turn up. Players will just go there and do it. Rory will, it's a different, he'll have a different mindset. There's one thing that you become very conscious of when you're a manager. How fine a line it is. It can be penalty miss, deflected goal, goalkeeper makes it horrible. You know, it's so fine a line at times between winning and losing. And you're very conscious of that when you're the manager. Uh, and, but there's so many things that, that can happen that are out of your control. And you try as much as possible that where, as I often say, luck is the most underrated thing in life. And that's what you're hoping for on the day that Lady Luck smiles upon you.